Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. Today I am going to do a video that has been requested over and over again and that is the use of the pothos plant in our goldfish tank. So I'm going to show you from start to finish what we do. There are many different ways to do this but I am just going to show you what we have done and what's worked for us. This plant is one of the most popular house plants and you'll find it in most garden centres and I know that if you live in the USA you will find it in Home Depot and Lowe's. It is in the top 10 house plants for removing toxins out of the air in your home so it is a great plant just to have for that reason. So the plant is a golden pothos. It is easy to grow out of an aquarium just generally in its pot. It is a low light level plant and it requires very little water as well. So it, it is supposed to be one of those plants that are really hard to kill. And I've definitely found that to be the case because I'm not that good with house plants because I often forget to water them. So this one is perfect for that reason. So when I'm looking for where I'm going to take a cutting from, I usually try and find sort of a stem that is out on its own and then I literally just cut it off. I try not to do too many on the plant and then let it replenish. This one is growing fairly well. We haven't had it over long. I think we've only had the pothos in our tanks now for about two months. So I try and take them where it's sort of grown and I've got a stem to cut like you can see here. And then I will just cut that at an angle. And basically that's it to take the cutting off the plant. A lot of people have asked why do we use it in the tank and we primarily use it to lower the nitrate level in the goldfish tank because we were having a lot of issues with the nitrate level was just so high even though we had so much filtration and so I did a lot of research and this was the one thing that just kept coming up over and over again so we decided I think we started with about four stems and now we've got about eight or nine in the tank and it's amazing the difference it's made. We've gone from having to do water changes every four to five days that we can go about a week and the nitrate level is not too high. So this plant really has made a difference. These were the first cuttings that we took just a few months back and as you can see we've got some huge roots on there now and you can either put them in your hang on the back filters. You don't have to put them in your tank. We have them on the hang on the back filter and also in the tanks and the fish don't tend to bother with them. I have removed the one that we did have in the hang on the back filter and I have made way for this one because I'm going to show you the growth on this so we're going to put this in the hang on the back filter today and then a week from today I'm going to come back and video again and I will show you the results. It will also make a difference with your algae because it's drawing nutrients out of the water that algae need to grow so it will also make a difference with that, but you do need to note that you do need an awful lot of it for it to make a significant difference. Okay, so this is the plant a week on, and as you can see, we've got some really good root growth there, and it is amazing how quickly this will grow now the roots have started. The root system on these just amazes me how fast they grow, and then they just seem to take off at a certain point and before you know it you've got this massive root system. The stem in front of the hang on the back filter is one of the first ones that we did and when I was filming this, when I did the cutting and put it in, I also filmed the roots underneath off that one cutting and what amazed me was when I came back a week later to then film the roots that and how they'd grown on the one we'd put in the hang in the back filter just look how much the roots had grown on the one underneath I had no idea it had grown so much in just a week I mean that is just crazy root growth we've obviously got a really good system and a good setup because the plant just absolutely loves it so that that is now taking all the nutrients out of the water that we don't want which is absolutely great and when I came to test the water this week it was the first time we were 20 parts per million on our nitrate after a week which we have never had since this tank was set up and it's been set up now for about seven months I think or eight months no I think it's eight months and so I am just thrilled that we have finally got this down and under control 
and this plant is what has made the difference. So if you're having that as an issue, I would definitely recommend this as a way to go to help with water changes or just to help get your tank more balanced. Now, a lot of people have asked me, can you use it in planted tanks? And I know that people do do it, but I think it's one of those things that you would have to have a very established planted tank with a lot of maybe excess nutrients because if you put this into a planted tank then it is going to be drawing nutrients out of the water that your plants need to grow so that is something that you would have to test out for yourself I would not put it in a planted tank or certainly not at this point because I wouldn't want to risk the plants that are already in the tank and I don't need help in removing nutrients and things like that so that is something that you would maybe just have to figure out for yourself. Let me know in the comments box below if you use the Pothos and how it's worked for you and your experiences. I do hope this has answered some of your questions. If you're not subscribed to our channel and would like to see more videos like this then please do so and we'll see you next time.